welcome everyone so today i am going to show you a trick with which you can do factor tree literally orally okay but first as always i'm going to show you how to do it in a traditional method because lot of you all don't even know what is the actual traditional method okay so let's take this this number 42 and if you had to do a factor tree of this so first thing what you should do is you should try and divide 42 by prime numbers which is like 3 2 3 5 7 so on what are prime numbers prime numbers are only those numbers which have two factors means the number itself and the number one okay so here we can say that this is an even number so this is obviously divided by 2 so when you divide 42 by 2 you will get what 2 and 1 right and then 21 is written as nothing but what 3 and 7. So now I can say that factor of 42 is nothing but what 2 into 3 into 7. Okay. But what about students? Let's say if I give you a different number. Um, let's say if I had given you the number 24. Okay. So now this is smaller number but I'm going to show you my trick with this. Okay, so now this, again we can do what, see the traditional method is what 2, then 12, then what 2, and then 6, and then what 2, and 3. Okay, but there is another method to do this, which is what 24. I can do this as 3 into 8. Okay, and this 8 can be directly written as what 2 cube. So then I can say the factors for 24 are nothing but what 2 cube into just 3. And if you look over here, there are how many twos? 1, 2 and 3. So here also you would have written what 2 cube into 3. So this and this is same. The only difference was in this particular step. See, I'm not saying that everybody can, you know, click this way. But if you know or, you know, after a lot of practice, you will come to, come to this point that 3 into 8 also gets you 24. Okay, so then we know that 8 is what 2 cube. So you directly go from this particular step to your answer okay instead of actually going through all these steps now why are these steps important okay so why this particular method is super important because when you're attempting entrances your even two seconds are important okay so if you waste two to three seconds in this one here you are able to recover that and then you can utilize those two three seconds in solving a difficult sum or a topic which you're not very confident about okay so now now let's look at another one um now see like i told you now we're going to go to bigger numbers so now we have what 72 now i'll so show you this magic happens in this particular number because see here i can say this can be written as what 8 into 9 and i know that 8 is nothing but what 2 cube and 9 is nothing but what 3 square so you saw literally orally I could write down the prime numbers for the factor of 72. Imagine, imagine had you do, done this 2 and then what 36, then again 2, then 18 and then so on. Okay, so that takes a bit of time. Okay, but obviously if you are at school level then you need to show all these steps. So then you need to complete this. So then this can be written as what 3 and 3 and then you do a circle, circle, circle 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 and then from here you can go back to this particular answer of yours okay but this trick is going to be super super helpful for anyone who is attempting any of these entrances okay so now let's look at one more example now i'm looking at bigger numbers okay so now from here we are starting with bigger numbers but before going ahead i would like to remind all of y'all that if you like the way i'm explaining then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos also don't forget at the end i'm going to put up a diy whose answers y'all can mention in the comment section okay so now here we have what 105 so now here again see 105 you can do it with 3 as well but since the last digit is 5 and dividing any number by 5 is super easy. So let's do it with 5. So 5 and you get what 21. So this becomes what 3 and 7. So finally the prime factors for this one is what 3 into 5 into 7. Students please understand factor 3. Factor 3 actually is basically <coughs> one method to find what prime factors. Okay. 
and trust me it it can be super helpful when the numbers are very very big okay so this is a very important method to know okay but it's just that you need to know different ways to solve these kind of factor trees as well okay so the ones which are very very easy i'm going to show you those okay so now the next one let's look at another big number so here we have the number 320 okay so now again see this is an even number but instead of doing that i will divide it by what 5 see again a lot of people will argue that why did you do it by 5 why not 10 yes i can do it by 10 also that's not wrong okay then you get over here is what 2 and 5 and this is what this is uh, 2 raised to 5 so basically this gets you what 2 raised to 6 because there is one more 2 to be considered over here and 5 okay but since i did it with 5 here what i got is what 64 so now again this is directly what 2 raised to 6 and this is 5 so basically here also i'm getting what 2 raised to 6 into 5 as my prime factors okay so you saw either ways you can do it it is just about choosing the one method which is clicking to you okay then the next one let's try one more so we have y532 now this looks a bit different and um, you know instead of going about all of this let's try with the traditional method we'll do what two and then we got what two one two six sorry two six six so now i've purposely taken a number which is very very not easy to figure out okay so here again i know this is an even number so we get what two one three three now see one three three becomes difficult why because it doesn't go in two it doesn't go in three it doesn't go in five now for seven we will check and now if you see seven uh, this gets you one and nineteen and then you know that two and two seven and nineteen all are what prime numbers so your factors for 5, 3, 2 gets you what? Nothing but what? 2 raised to 2 into 7 into 19. Okay. So that is how you are going to do about go about all of these sums. Okay. <clears throat> now coming to the part where I am going to share you a DIY question. So your DIY is uh, nothing but tell me what will it be for... Um, let me do a bigger number. Let's see if you can figure this out. 224. If you can't, I'll make a short video for this answer as well. So students, this was a big shout out to Priya because she sent me this particular request that doing factor tree is getting difficult. So this is how you can do factor tree. Okay. So that's it for today. I will definitely see you in the next video.